What is up YouTube? Ruben here and today I'm going to show you guys how to install Windows Me Build 2332 in VirtualBox. Build 2332 is the very first version of Windows Millennium which will then be Windows Me saying well saying Millennium Edition so after the development of Windows 98 Second Edition they moved on to focus on the very last version of the Windows 9X kernel which would later be Windows Me. So let's get this started. So the first thing you need is VirtualBox. The second thing you need is the MS-DOS ISO because we need to change the BIOS date and create the partition. And the third thing you need is the Windows Me Build 2332 ISO from WinWorld PC. So let's get this started. So the first thing we need to do is we're going to click on New and we're going to type in Windows Me Build 2332. Then hit Next, Next, Create, Next, Next, Create. Then we're going to click on settings, storage, click on the empty disk, and you're going to look for your Windows, well, MS-DOS 6.22 ISO, and then hit OK, and then hit start. The first thing we need to do is type in date, and the date we need to change is 07-14-1999. Then hit enter and type in date again. You should see that it's Wednesday, July 14th, 1999. The next thing we need to do is type in FDisk, then hit enter, and you're going to enter four times. And then it's going to reboot. Then type in format C colon. Then hit enter. Then hit Y and then hit enter. Then hit enter. And now we can go ahead and insert the Emma, the Windows um, Me Build 2332 ISO. So the next thing we do, the next thing we need to do is type in R colon and type in dir. You should see a folder called Win9x. The next thing we need to do is type in C colon and type in MKDIR Win9X. Then hit enter. Then type in CD space Win9X. Then hit enter. And now type in R copy space R colon backslash Win9X. Then hit enter, and now it's going to copy file. So what we're going to do is I'm going to pause the video, so I'll be back. Now that's done, so go ahead and eject the ISO, and now we need to type in setup. Then hit enter, and now it should bring us the setup, and then what we're going to do is we're going to click on continue. And then it's going to prepare the wizard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and pause the video. So I'll be back. Once you get to the license agreement. I go ahead and click on I accept the agreement. And then hit next. And now you have to type in the product key. It should come with the ISO. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video. So I'll be back. After typing the product key. And clicking on next or hitting enter. Make sure it's set to C windows. And then hit next. And now it's going to check for install components. This should take some time, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video, so I'll be back. Once you get to this screen, either one of these don't matter. I just use typical and then hit next. And now you're going to type in your name. I just type in my name here and then hit next. And then hit next. And I'm going to name this as WinMe2332. Make sure it's still set to work group and then hit next. You can choose your region, but we just select United States and then hit next. Then you're going to click on next. Uh, obviously, you don't have a floppy disk, so 
right here just click on cancel we don't need a floppy disk and then hit ok and now click on next and then it's going to copy file so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and pause the video so I'll be back now it's ready to restart so go ahead and click on ok and then click on restart now and then it should already reboot so it's going to restart the virtual machine And now we should see that we're booting into Windows Millennium developer release and now this should bring you to the second phase of setup where it's going to be setting up hardware and on the bottom right it says Windows Millennium 4.90.2332 so now it's going to look for any hardware so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and pause the video so I'll be back now it's ready to restart so if the mouse glitch is out just go to input and disable mouse integration to get your mouse working again now you have to click on restart now and then it should restart and then uh, it's gonna update files and then it's gonna load into the final phase of setup where it's gonna uh, do another hardware check so yeah and it's also going to finalize settings so once again on the bottom right it says windows millennium 4.90 build 2332 let's go check for more hardware and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go and pause the video so i'll be back when you get to this screen right here confirm the date is july 14th 1999 you can also change your time zone and also you can either check it or uncheck it but we're just going to click on close but the date needs to be still July 14th 1999 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue uh, uh, installing Windows Me so I'll be back now we're ready to restart it kind of took a while but it's now ready so we're going to click on restart now and then it should already restart the virtual machine and now it's gonna once again update files and then this should be the desktop well the Microsoft networking when you get to this screen just hit OK and then we should be greeted into the desktop just updated shortcuts and we should be getting into the desktop right now And as you can see, we have successfully installed Windows Me Build 2332. If you see this screen, you, uh, that's good. If you right click my computer and then hit properties, we should see that we have successfully installed Windows Me Build 2332. So thank you guys for watching. Please be sure to subscribe and also follow me on Twitter at RubenAlfredicio17. Also follow me on Instagram at RubenTransitFan. So, that's how to install Windows Me Build 2332 in VirtualBox. So, I'll see you next time.